and today I'm going to be showing you my apartment tour. And as you can see, I am in a different location than you're used to seeing. One of the locations is my parents' house, which I still have a room at, so I film in there sometimes. And the other location was at my other apartment that I shared with three other girls. But now I am in my own place and that's because I am doing my last semester of college and I'm doing an internship and if you guys don't know I am a fashion major so I am doing it at a retailer here where I live. So since I didn't know what I was going to be doing after graduation I decided to sublease for six months from a fellow student here at my university so this is my temporary place. In six months I'm not going to be here anymore and if you guys have seen my other videos you know I don't do a lot of interaction and uh, there's not a reason for that I just do a lot of voiceovers but if you want to see a lot more interactive kind of videos like vlogs or stuff like room tours where I interact or like doing tutorials and talking instead of just doing a voiceover let me know by commenting below and also let me know what other kind of videos you want to see. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that this is an older apartment. So I live in a big city. So if I want a ritzy apartment, I'm going to be paying like $2,000 a month. And that's not in my student budget. It doesn't have like top of the line appliances. The apartment is painted yellow. There's just stuff like that that I didn't really like. But you know, you gotta, you gotta live with it and you gotta make it look good. So without further ado, here is my 2015 apartment tour. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. All right. To start by coming through the door and here is a general overview. It's a one bedroom, one bath apartment, so it's not too fancy, but it's good. So here is where I eat my lunch and I don't eat my breakfast here I eat it on the couch which is hilarious but right here I just have some flowers and I don't know why I have a horseshoe there but I do then here's a window which I always close because my neighbors walk by it can totally see me in my kitchen let's just settle this now you're probably asking Paige where does all of the magic happen so let's just clear the air now and this is where the magic happens this is my coffee pot. This is what gives me life. So that's that. We all know now where the magic happens. So yeah. So down here I just have my planning stuff and I will show you my little plants in a minute. And then in here is my pantry which is a disaster because I have some storage boxes in there. So that's the door to my pantry. I'll just show you like it's crazy. So then here's my stove, which funny story, I had no idea how to use the oven. I was like a gas oven. How the heck do I use that? Well, what I didn't know is that hmm, there's four little burners and there's five knobs. I'm dumb. One of these knobs is to use the oven. Haha, ha, I'm great. So I made cookies last weekend and I've been here for uh, how many months? Yeah, I just found that out. Then over here, I have my little mugs that say you were here, how cute. Then I have my, I have this vintage little candy jar that was my great grandma's and I have a few chocolates in there. Then I have my baking stuff, oh my God. I left this on the pan one day and it got all melted. Then I have my coffee, which is my life, like I said, and then a little cutting board. And I haven't done much cooking, honestly, but hmm. So now we're at the fridge, and this is an older fridge. Like I said, I have an older apartment. Then I just have my mop right there. And then up here I have my vitamins and a Hello Kitty little water bottle. So I don't have much food. Not too much going on in there. And here I have some wine in there and then just a little bit of food, water, the essentials. So then we have my sink. And like I said, this is an old apartment. I did not have a microwave so I had to go buy one then down here is my old washer which I hate to use so I mostly do all of my washing right here then here's an overview of my living room as you can see here are my little children my boyfriend and I actually picked these up so we have some succulents and a cactus which I love and the fun thing is that it's hard to kill them so Aren't they adorable? We got those little guys there. Then I have some of my breakfast food right here next to the toaster. Then I have a little wallflower, a old leaves candle that I've used most of as of last night. This, which I need to put some flowers in. It's 
some paper towels. Then I was trying to hang this up, but these walls, if you can see, these walls are very, um, I don't know, they're impossible to put a thumbtack or any kind of nail through, so I just have that there for now. So then I'm going to come over here, and right here I have my Bozu ball, and if you've never seen one of those before, they are amazing. And here's my TV. There's a window, as you can see, but there's my TV, and I have these little cubes, and right here is my graduation little thing my parents gave me because I walk the stage but I haven't officially gotten my diploma. Then we have these little cubes which I have some nail stuff in. Here are my little salt and pepper shakers which I don't want to use because they're too adorable. Then I have a little ring holder which I don't use because I don't wear a lot of rings. And then I have some little coasters and another little cube. So that's my little TV area. Here is an old chair that was my great-grandfather's, and it looks kind of cool, I think. So that's maroon, and it's kind of cool, so I put a matching pillow there. Then I have a little nightstand, which is also an older piece. And I have a little piggy down there, which is really random, but really cute, to my remotes. And then I made this little jar, and it has some twinkle lights in there, so I need to light that eventually and get some batteries. Then I have this couch which my boyfriend let me borrow for the time being. I have a little lamp there. Thermostat, how exciting. Then right here is my coffee table, which is very handy. Normally there's about 20 coffee cups there. So I have this little mirror thing that I got from Target, I think. And then these little mason jars, which I wanted to hang, but I put them there. Then I have some magazines there and a cute little rug. So that is my kitchen my door, my TV area, chair, and a couch. Then once you walk over here, I have my little hall closet. So I have a to-do list, I have a buying project, a report, a profile, and I have to get groceries. And it's really cute and I like it, so that's that. My boyfriend let me have that, here's my keys. Then in here, let's open the door. So when you open the door, I just have some clothes there and some storage up there yoga mat, and some shoes. It's not too organized, but you know, does the trick. I'm not here for a long time. So now there's a little door here, and this is me walking into my room. So here's a window, which does bring a lot of light in. And here's a little box kind of thing that I put some of my blankets in if I need extra blankets. I have this little wallflower thing, not really. I don't know what that's called. I have a little mirror that I don't attach to the wall because I bring it in different places. I have this painting that my best friend painted for me. And then this little follow that dream sign that my grandma gave me. Down here I have my shoes and that's because I have too many shoes. So I just put my favorite ones up here that I like to wear. And since I work at a retail store, I often can wear heels. So that's fun. Right here I have a fur rug, and this is really annoying right here, but I have some Wi-Fi stuff there, which I have no idea where to put. So that's that. Then I have this little sign that I put up, which still has July, August, and September on there, but that's, you know, whatever. Then I have my little Lila Rose Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week thing there, and a little thingy that my boyfriend got me. And yeah, I did a DIY on that. Then the lady who was here before me and who I'm subleasing from put these little objects on the ceiling, put that little decal there. So here's my desk. So I have some tissues there, a little tape dispenser, post-it notes. I have a leaves candle, which is always burning here, my laptop, some little vases, and I keep some school supplies in here in these little drawers, some matches. Don't know why that perfume's there. Don't know why. Then I have some sunglasses here, which I'm wearing today, which I'm gonna wear today. My phone's there and a little planner. I haven't put down my plans for this weekend, so both that should be done. In here, I just have some sunglasses, my iPad, some random miscellaneous stuff. In here, I keep my book stuff there. This is all my supplies that I need for school. How awesome is that? Perks of being a senior. Then I have some hair stuff in here because I do my hair right here with my mirror. And then I have some miscellaneous stuff in there. I have my little printer back under there. Backpack that I don't even use anymore. Then, like I said, I have a little rug here, which I got from 
some little boutique. I don't know where it's from. Then I have my bed here. Very simple. I would do more with it, but I'm only here for a short amount of time. So I have this blanket, which I got from the same little boutique. Then my sheets are from Ikea. And this is an old bed. A lot of my stuff is like vintage, I guess. It's from an estate sale. So as you can see, there's the door. Fun stuff. And then I would put some stuff on the wall, but it's, like I said, it's really hard to put stuff on the wall in here. I'm not sure why. But here is an overview of my bed. Normally I'd have some pillows there, but we're gonna be minimalists. So I plan on putting a pillow there, but we'll see how that goes. Then I just have this little rug and my little bathroom area. It's me, hello. So in here, I just have some nail polish. I don't know why I have painting tape there, skin stuff. Then on this side, same stuff. That is fun. Okay, so right here, I normally just put my rings, if I'm wearing any, in my lip color of the day. So there's my lip color of the day. Tissues, toothbrush, my toothpaste is in there. Then I got some Bath and Body Works soap and some little flowers, which are fake because I cannot keep a plant alive to save my life, woo! So in here we have my bathroom, not too impressive, it's very small, but I have some storage in there. Fun stuff, guys, so much fun. Got the toilet, a little trash can. Yeah, in here it's kind of dark, but I just have some of my shower products, yeah. So then I just have some towels, so let's turn off this light. Okay, so on the other side, here's my closet. It's not too impressive, but I have some jewelry hanging there, some scarves, a really annoying lamp that I hate, but we deal with it, right? It's really dark in here, but I have some shoes up there for fall. Then I have a bunch of clothes there. My dresser's there, I did not want it to be out. My dirty clothes are there where that towel is, boots, some storage for winter. Then we just have my clothes right here. It's not too organized. Then we have storage on the top. Then I have a fire thing here. Very cool, right? So yeah, that is my little bathroom area. Not completely sure what I just said during all this because I tend to ramble a lot. <laughs> Hopefully it made sense to what everything is and why it's there. So, and there is the overview of my room. Shoes, blankets, desk that I don't use, decorations, my bed, bathroom, closet. Then we got my living room. That's about it, guys. Yeah, so that is about it. Let's turn the camera to me. So that is about it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun filming it because I like talking a lot and I am by myself and I need someone to talk to. So you guys are the main people I'm gonna talk to. So that's about it for my room tour. Hopefully that didn't make you as dizzy as I feel right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like me. If you don't, you should still subscribe. Maybe you'll get used to me. I don't know. So yeah, that's about it for my video. Remember, comment below if you have any requests or if you want to see me talk a little bit more, do some vlogs. I don't know. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.